We put a camera inside a BMW engine during walnut blasting. Here's what happened. So we've got an E89 Z4 in with us today. It's got an N54 engine, which is the twin turbo BMW six cylinder. And we've got the BMW walnut blasting equipment here, which we're gonna be using to carry out a walnut blast service. And that's where we blast walnut shells, crushed walnut shells into the inlet whilst the correct cylinder is at TDC and the valves are obviously shut um, so that we clean the tops of the valves and therefore the inlet track. So this is the cylinder head. We've taken the inlet manifold off, which is why there's a good amount of area and room in the engine bay. And the inlet tracks get very dirty with carbon deposits because high pressure fuel inject engines um, don't have fuel being sprayed over the inlet valves. It's high pressure injection. They go through here and that means the valves never get any fuel going past them to wash them clean like a traditional engine. So you get a lot of carbon and dirt build up on here. We're going to try and put a video, a uh, small snippet of video into this video about now to show you a detailed analysis of the inside of this. So we're just going into the cylinder head using our borescope camera. This is the exact car that we've just videoed. Uh, looking at inlet cylinder number one, uh, right hand side valve. This one is the worst one. It's almost twice as thick as it should be. All that is carbon buildup sat on top of the uh, valve stem itself, which is going to be no, no good. Here's the left hand side. We've got similar build up um, and the airflow really needs to be hitting a radius, a really nice curve of the valve stem, but it's actually been disrupted badly because it's hitting an irregular pattern. This is cylinder number two where you can see there's a shiny part of the valve visible at the top. That's how it should be and that's the radius I refer to. The airflow should be hitting that but it's not. So we're going to do some walnut blasting to sort this out. So there you just saw the inside from a better angle with a bit closer up with more torch light inside and you can see how dirty they are and the fact that they are starting to collect with carbon deposits on top of the valves and again the intake track of the cylinder head so we're going to be cleaning all that with the walnut blasting system and obviously using the BMW tools so for that there are an injection nozzle which is this item here which is unique to the N54 and also the vacuum nozzle which is this one which is unique to the N54 so this attaches to just a standard workshop vacuum that is obviously the correct port for match the inlet and then there is the entrance hole which is where that delivery nozzle sends the walnut blast uh, the walnut shells in at high pressure and then this basically sucks them back out once they've done their job of cleaning here is the walnut shell crushed walnut shell if you've ever wondered what this is what it looks like how big it is um, it's medium grade the BMW spec is 0.4 millimeter to one millimeter in grain size. Um, and just to give you an idea of how small that is compared to my hand, there we go. That's what it looks like, crushed walnut shells. So halfway through the walnut blasting process, you can see we've done cylinders one, two, and three. Very uh, shiny, you can see the bare aluminum now, that's all cleaned and you can even see the valves just poking up there, how perfect they are. Compare that to four, five and six, which are still original, dirty, you can't even see the valves, it's very dark and dingy in there. Let's just try and zoom in and just see if we can see a little bit difference. Raise the light, so that one's extremely dark, that one's extremely light and I will show a better view of this. We're going to use a borescope camera, oh there we go. We've got uh, the valves are very clean, the tops of them, the inlet track is great and then compare that to the dark and dinginess and the valves of how sticky they are with all that carbon build up. You can see it's definitely been working and doing its job um, and now we're just going to show the process of how it works. So this is how quick the process is. Um, Dan's going to now install the adapter which has got the shop, shop vacuum attachment on the end. That's obviously a BMW tool, perfect fit, stays there uh, and then the high pressure blasting equipment comes in which obviously the hopper is filled up that goes through the middle you can create a vacuum tight seal and now we send it in for 12 seconds whilst wiggling the tube around and around and in and out basically to get all angles the BMW instruction is 12 seconds 
If you're wondering what the screwdriver is, that's what we're using to reference TDC, top dead center, where the piston's up at the top, and obviously the valves are closed, and we do that by rotating the crankshaft front bolt using the service, or the end of this, the front of the crank. And now the system can be retracted, and then we can have a look in there with a torch. And this is just after one go. I mean, there's more option for us to do more if we needed to. We now assess it and see what we think, but that shows how quick the process can be. Obviously, the whole process is a couple of hours, including taking the inlet manifold off, setting the system tools up, and then carrying out each one, rotating the engine, taking the fan out. But you get the idea. It's a relatively quick, easy, painless process to do walnut blasting on the BMW engines. So we don't think this has been done before, but we're going to show you an internal view of how this happens. We've got a borescope camera set up inside the cylinder port on here, number six, and uh, we're just about to fire it in. You can see how dark it is. There's the walnut shells going in. Um, that happens for effectively 12 seconds, but we do various pulses. Sometimes we'll do a full. And already, look at that, that was probably three seconds of uh, blast in. There's some more blast now going in, but already we can see the inlet track is super smooth and silver again, complete bare aluminium colour. Volves are a little bit out of view on this camera. Uh, they're a lot further down, um, but you can see, start to see the volves are becoming clean. And again, we will retract, have a look, see if we need to add some more. But already this is um, coming out extremely well. It's a very effective process, just needs a few seconds of cleaning to do its job. And already you can see how good this is looking inside. So that's been successful. We've cleaned all cylinders now. Um, I'm just going to show you a close-up video with the borescope camera of what it looks like now. Here we go again with our borescope camera. Now we've finished this process. So we're on cylinder number one, which was the original one that we looked at. We can see the air divider is perfectly good and reflective, bare aluminium. Uh, majority of the inlet track is all cleaned. Um, the valved heads, the tops of them, um, and also the valve stems as well, looking really good. Nice, strong radius there for the airflow to hit perfectly as BMW designed the intake of this process. So that was a complete success. This BMW Z4 E89 with the N54 engine in is going back together. Inlet manifolds on, obviously new inlet manifold gaskets, and the car is just part way through being reassembled. So shortly all pipes will be fitted up, airbox, top cover. Then we'll be obviously doing road tests to make sure everything is fine. Um, we've got the complete tool set, as you can see from this picture here. So BMW hopper, and then all the correct adapters, the vacuum adapters and the pressure uh, in input tubes, um, whether it be a petrol or a diesel. So if you've got um, any BMW related engine, like an N53, N54, N55, S55, then V8s like the N63, the S63, and even 12 cylinder, like the N73. And then onto the new generation, the B series engine. So like the B38, B48, B58, and dare I say, they're too new yet, but S58, so they're going to be the same probably because they're high pressure fuel injection systems. Um, and diesels as well. We've got all the adapters for the diesels. So old M47s, then the N47, old M57s, then the newer N57, and then all the new B series generation diesel engines like the B37, B37, and finishing with the B57. We've got them all, so give us a call at Reedish Motorsport. We can get a price for you. Now you've seen the process, how it works, and we can help your vehicle out.